Hey everyone, it's Tom here with thisonlineworld.com. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. So in my opinion, freelance writing is one of the best ways to make money online. And it's actually how I've been making most of my income for the last two to three years. And freelance writing is also awesome. I mean, you can work from anywhere in the world. You can work on your own schedule. You can realistically make six figures or make a ton of money on the side or full time as a freelance writer. But if there's one thing I definitely know, it's that landing your first few jobs and your first few high paying jobs can be very, very challenging. And this is honestly why a lot of people quit and give up way too soon when it comes to making money as a writer. So in today's video, I'm covering six different high paying writing jobs or resources you can use to find your next writing gig and to launch your freelance writing career. So one of the ideas in this video has actually made me tens of thousands of dollars to date and helped me find some of my best clients out there. And these strategies work for beginners and intermediate and experienced freelance writers alike. So definitely watch this one until the end. There's something in it for everyone, but uh, yeah. Let's get into the writing jobs. All right, guys, so we hopped over to my laptop. We're gonna dive right into the best writing jobs or tricks you can use to find your first clients. And this first one is honestly a bit of an obvious one, but it's what has worked the best for me. And at least it's how I got my start in freelance writing. And essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to good old Google, type in write for us and then your niche. So in my case, it's personal finance, but this works with a bunch of different niches. And you're just gonna scroll down. And what you'll find is a lot of publications or blogs have this write for us section where you know they'll post things like oh you know you can write for us you can you know try and uh, become a freelance writer on our staff or in our team and you can see here some of them even advertise right away oh get three hundred dollars to write for us finance business money credit so you click in you know you're gonna do some exploration see what's out there and uh, yeah sure enough these guys are saying hey you write for elite personal finance pay up to three hundred dollars uh, we pay $300 per guest post. They spend over 100K per year, apparently. And you can see it's between 1,000 to 3,000 words. They tell you what the topics you're gonna write about, you know, everything like that. Um, and so you can basically go through this list on Google, look for a bunch of different sites to write for within your niche and just send out applications. And this is actually how I found my first ever like major writing gig at moneycrashers.com. It's a great site, I recommend checking it out. And so you can see that's, uh, that's me here uh, from a few years ago. I started writing for these guys, I think two and a half years ago. And that's what I did. I found them on Google and you could see all of my posts that I've written for them here. So this was a decent gig. I just stopped writing for them recently, but a really awesome team. And they were paying 15 cents per word for a long time. And a lot of these articles are two to 4,000 words. So if you do some quick math, that's uh, not bad per article. You know, these are, again, pretty lengthy pieces. And what's really nice about this strategy a lot of the time is you get that author bio, which helps you build your portfolio, helps you land more clients. So that's definitely number one on my list of ways to find writing jobs and you know high paying writing jobs. Just do a good old Google search and start applying to some gigs. All right, and number two on the list of ways to find high paying writing jobs is to go to a website called whopayswriters.com. And this is really a nice way to kind of kickstart your search. If you don't know your niche, you're kind of just looking what's out there, you wanna just skim through a bunch of different sites. And basically people here report freelance writing rates. So they might say, oh, I write for the Financial Times. They're looking for 800 word profiles or interviews and they pay 41 cents per word, something like that. You know, people leave emojis, don't really know what that's about, but you can just scroll through here and kind of look around and you'll see a lot of these are saying like 25 cents to even a dollar per word, which is honestly great. Like the New York Post dollar per word seems pretty cool. Um, Business Insider, 33 cents per word. This one I actually believe is accurate. I have some friends who write for Business Insider and I think this is fairly accurate. What I will say is take this with a grain of salt because honestly, I don't think all of these pay a dollar per word, but at the very least, this website gives you some direction. It says, hey, these people hire freelance writers. Maybe you then go check out CBN writers. You go to their website, look for their hiring page and see if there's any job openings. So if you're really just diving into this and you kind of need a starting point, I definitely recommend checking out whopayswriters.com. All right, and number three on this list of where to find high paying writing jobs is to go to ProBlogger. And if you've been blogging before or freelance writing before, you've probably heard of ProBlogger. It's very popular in the space. And what's nice is that it has this job section where companies from you know all kinds of niches will post these you know, copywriting or blog content writing jobs, even editing and proofreading jobs. And you can apply to them through, you know, the links in ProBlogger and potentially find some clients. And what I really do like about ProBlogger is you actually have some pretty high quality companies like Credit Donkey, for example, looking for a business and finance writer. That's actually a pretty good company and I believe they pay pretty well. And so you can go into the actual job description. They tell you exactly what topics they're looking for, you know, what their ideal candidates like. And then they actually say, hey, just, you know, send us your rates in this example in a brief paragraph of why you think the role is a good fit. Now, what's really cool, though, is you'll actually see a lot of companies post payment information or rates in 
the actual job description. So this is one for the Hoth. They're a really cool SEO agency. And you know, here you can even see like a 500 word article makes $16. That's not a great rate, but if you're new to freelance writing and you just want you know a client or two to kind of practice and hone your craft, maybe you take something like this. So it's honestly not too bad. And again, some of them pay a bit more, 75 bucks for 2,500 words. Not the best, not the worst. So it's a nice starting point as well for a lot of freelance writers. And again, you can see I'm scrolling through here, tons of different companies. There's contract work, there's freelance work. Sometimes you even find full-time jobs like this one here. So a really, really robust website. And that's why I had to make the list for the best places to find freelance writing jobs. All right, and so for number four on how you can find high paying writing jobs, it's to join different niche communities on Facebook. And I've mentioned this before on this channel about how you can use Facebook to find freelance work or jobs. And I think it's a very underrated aspect of Facebook. And so you can see here, I'm actually in the FinCon community. So the financial community that's based around this conference that's held every year. So I'm a, in that group because I'm a finance blogger and freelance writer. But what's really cool is if you just search for writer in this group, for example, you'll see people are posting about their clients or about their own blog and their need for writers. So you can see here, oh, Kayla posted, uh, my client Frugal Rules is looking to hire a freelance writer. I'll share the job description in the comments. And I actually used to write for Frugal Rules and it's actually this community where I found that job and they were great, great team to work with, really steady work, really fun team to you know write for. And you can just scroll through and see like every month or two, people are posting some really, really cool jobs. Like this is one for Clark Howard's website, clark.com. And that is a massive personal finance website. They're looking for 40 hours a week. So it's fully remote, full time, really, really cool opportunity. And yeah, so it's these kinds of groups where you basically can find writing leads and sometimes for some very high quality sites. And again, sticking with Facebook, you can always search for things like freelance writing groups or blogger groups and then do that writer search in the you know history of the group to look for jobs. So you can see there's a bunch of different groups like 53,000 members, posts every single week about freelance writing jobs, content writing jobs, seven posts a day. The downside with these kinds of gigs in groups is that a lot of it's spammy or maybe not too high paying, but again, you can join a few of them, see if you find work in your niche and it's on Facebook, it's free, it's effective. So definitely recommend trying it. Okay, so speaking of Facebook, number five, and this is a bit of a weirder one, and it's not something I would do if you're completely brand new to freelance writing, but it's to join different freelance writing courses or like elite groups, and I'll explain what I mean. So this is a really, really popular freelance writing course called Earn More Writing. It's by Holly Johnson. She's really nice. She's very, very smart. She's a great freelance writer, and she writes for pretty much every personal finance publication you could think of. And so I remember kind of being a bit stuck at some point. I needed more clients. I didn't really know who to reach out to anymore. And I heard about her group. And the only way to get into her group is to buy her course or earn, earn more writing. And earn more writing is I think like 300 bucks or something like that, no, or 250, it might've gone up. I can't really remember. But it's a course that teaches you how to be a better freelance writer, which I thought was really cool. But I was more interested in buying the course to get access to this exclusive group of talented freelance writers because I could pick their brain and learn from them. But what I didn't know was that this group actually posts a lot of jobs, which is really, really cool. And so I'll scroll down and find one for you guys. But it was, uh, it was actually one of the ways I found a lot of clients. Um, and it honestly really, really surprised me. And I've also learned a lot from the freelance writers in this group. But you can see here, like last month, um, again, this is a clark.com post, so it was in that FinCon group we just talked about, but people post jobs in this kind of group all the time. And what's really nice is you can ask people for advice. Like, for example, Katie is asking here, anyone know anything about charging for book draft reads? So she's wondering, I have a client, they want to me to write some book drafts, how much should I charge? And people give a lot of really valuable advice. And so here's another job lead again, Holly posted this one, and this is for 25 cents per word. So that's a really good rate. And uh, she just says it's, you know, for writers with uh, thick skin, you can take some criticism. So again, you had to buy this course, which costs, oh, 199. So it's not even that bad. So you buy a course like this for 199, you get into this group and honestly, one client could easily cover the cost of the course. And that's what happened to me. I bought the course and next thing you know, I've landed a job out of that course probably, or out of that group in about a month. And it's definitely paid for itself like 10 or 20 times over since then. So sometimes you can pay money to join these kinds of programs, but I wouldn't do it at the start. I'd, I'd probably learn the ropes another way, a free way. And then if you get stuck at some point, you can use groups 
like earn more writing that are more exclusive. All right, guys, number six and the last idea for how you can find freelance writing jobs is, you know, the good old freelance marketplace route. You can write on Fiverr, freelancer.com, Upwork, you know, there's tons of people out here who make really good money on Fiverr. And really the toughest part is landing your first few clients and then getting those positive reviews. So one strategy I have for Fiverr sellers or any kind of marketplace seller, and I have friends who have done this before is land clients off of Fiverr and just get them to at least pay you through Fiverr for a few a few gigs and to give you a five star review. You know, maybe give them a discount for the hassle of doing it and to cover the Fiverr fees, but that will get you your star reviews that you need to kind of get your profile rolling. And there's also one seller I wanted to highlight because I thought what he was doing was very, very clever. And it's actually really cool if you have a blog, but he's basically saying, I will write about your music on my music blog. So he's kind of combined freelance writing and press release style content with blogging. So he has a music blog and people can reach out to him for promotion. And so he's really doing, you know, two things at once, but he's making it work. I mean, he has over a thousand reviews, 4.9 stars, and it's, it's not really that expensive, but you know, if he's making like 10 to $30 per post and he has, you know, hundreds of posts, like that's really, really, really good um, income or steady income. So that's why I really like combining freelance writing with blogging because a lot of the time you can do these kinds of things where you actually make money with your own blog and you're freelance writing for people at the same time, or if anything, you can use your blog as a portfolio piece. So laser life on Fiverr. I thought this was very, very clever. I think it's cool, but that is number six for different ways to find freelance writing gigs. It's probably not my favorite. I like pro blogger. I like the Google strategy first. I like using Facebook groups first, but you can always use websites like Fiverr or Upwork or freelancer.com on the back burner. But anyways, guys, that does it for six high paying freelance writing jobs or websites you can use to find jobs. And we'll hop back over to the sofa now and we'll wrap up the rest of this video. All right, well, there you have it, guys. Those are six different freelance writing jobs or resources you can use to kickstart your freelance writing career and to find more clients. And I know I've said this before, but just remember the importance of having a writing portfolio. I've stressed this in numerous other videos or in the video I made on my freelance writing guide. You really need to A, pick a niche or pick a few niches that you're gonna be a freelance writer for, and then have a portfolio so you have something to show clients when you pitch them. And this really doesn't have to stress you out too much. It doesn't have to be expensive. You can write a few posts on Medium for free and use that as your portfolio. Or you could start a simple WordPress website or a Wix website, you know, use that as your portfolio. So you at least have something, you know, published on the internet that you can show clients when you actually apply for jobs. Again, don't stress too much. If you're brand new and you've never had a freelance writing client before, get your portfolio up, send out some pitches, use the resources in this video. And if you stick with it, I firmly believe you can make really, really good money as a freelance writer, potentially even launch a career out of it. Anyways, guys, that does it for this video on some of the best freelance writing jobs and places to find work. If there's one I missed or there's one you know about, definitely let me know in the comments as well so other freelance writers can check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day and week. And as always, don't forget to check out thisonlineworld.com for more unique ways to make and save money. I'll catch you guys in the next one.